How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. All right guys, uh, this is a story on the crossbow cannibal uh, Stephen Griffiths who allegedly has been stabbed with a wooden stake in a prison attack. Now these stories are taken as a half truth. They always have a tendency to exaggerate the story so take it with a pinch of salt per se. Uh, there's probably been an incident involving him and he may have well been stabbed but to what extent we simply don't know. Uh, so yeah, so crossbow cannibal Stephen Griffiths stabbed with wooden stake in prison attack. Uh, the serial killer murdered three sex workers between 2009 and 2010, later claiming to have eaten their body parts. Serial killer cannibal uh, Stephen Griffiths cheated death in a prison cell attack when a fellow inmate tried to plunge a stake through his chest. Prison warders at HMP Long Larton in Worcestershire rushed to the triple murderer's aid on Friday after hearing the 49-year-old crying out in pain. The attacker was restrained and Griffiths was rushed to hospital. Eyewitnesses say Griffiths, who killed and ate the body parts of three sex workers, was left with a gaping wound in his chest. Uh, the other inmate used a sharpened piece of wood and drove it as hard as he could, a source told The Sun. Well, The Sun isn't worth wiping your ass off. Uh, the killer was sentenced to life in prison in 2010 after murdering three prostitutes in Bradford. Susan Rushworth, 43, Shelley Armitage, 31, and Susan Blamers, 36, were all shot in the head with a crossbow. He later claimed to have cooked and eaten body parts of two of the victims, eating the third one raw. The macabre crimes were discovered when a security guard when a security guard CCTV footage from a third floor corridor of a flat where Griffiths lived. The footage showed um, the footage showed firing a crossbow at one victim and then celebrating her death by raising a drink to the camera. He filmed another killing on the camera phone, showing Hermitage hogtied in a bath with my sex slave spray painted on her back. In a statement, a prison service spokesman said a prisoner at Long Larton received hospital treatment after an incident on Friday. The prisoner returned to the prison later the same day and the matter has been referred to the police. The attacker has reportedly been placed in isolation, which to you and I is the seg or the segregation unit. Now, they make out that he, like he survived cheated death and all this sort of stuff. Right? He was returned back to the hospital the same day. So you've got to ask yourself, how severe was that attack? Um, yeah, like I say, he's a triple murderer. He's been in prison since 2010. Um, sick individual. There's a picture of the crossbow, which it's massive. It's like a rifle uh, with a crossbow on the end. It's massive. Uh, I'll put pictures at the start, guys. God bless the three victims of his. May they all rest in peace. Um, like I say, people might not, someone might have been shipped into that prison uh doing obviously like a live sentence i think he's probably on the vp wing as well as a cat a prisoner um and then obviously someone might have taken exception to his offenses the fact he murdered three women um it might have been over drugs it could have been over a million things um but like i say he's uh, apparently being attacked in prison please confirm there has been an incident the prisoner have confirmed it um and we'll see what comes of it guys when I know more, you'll know more. Uh, on that note, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.